Here we go, it's a beautiful day, surfing life from Malcolm, sun's blaring in my uh, big office windows here, looking out at paradise. Today, uh, I'm going to go through, hey, I'm fooling you, huh? Look at that, I'm a talking head. <laughs> okay, we'll put this over here. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to go through with GSN and you've uh, got your payment. Now, your, your contract's come due and you've got to make your $1,000 that you pledged, you pledged 1000 dollars 15 days 16 days 17 days whatever it is so uh i've got a contract two contract a contract of mine that came due i'm going to do a, a, a live presentation i usually make powerpoints but i decided to do a live okay and um it's come due and we're going to send off the the required i'm going to take you step by step so at any time in this clip stop the clip pause it do what you do so you're going to open up your uh, GSN site and you're also going to open up your MetaMask site. All right, let's let's get out of uh, let's get out of this show. Okay, let's get out of here and we'll go to where am I? Let's have a look. I want to go to here and we want to go to GSN. So you're going to uh, you know, I'll tell you what I'm going to go out of this as well. I'm going to just go full screen. I guess I'm just full screen, am I? And we're going to, let's get me down here if I'm not full screen. We're going to uh, log into your site. So you've logged in and when you log in, it will automatically come up and show, okay? So you can see here on my, up on the top right, Surfing Life 3 and I'm Surfing Life 001, but I've got, uh, how many accounts do I have now? 54. Okay, so you have 54 going. And when they come due, you'll see here, there'll be a clock telling me it's due, right? And I'm logged in. So, my account comes due and I will see, this is normally vacant, right? Let's see if it shows up as number, uh, that's not gonna work. So it normally shows vacant here. But now we see I have, and I'm to send 1000 USD, right? USDT. So it's broken up in this case 700 and 300 and you can see the receiving address is different it's from p160031 their name and this one mr hyper amg9 the guy must likes mercedes right so two different accounts so what i'm going to do is we're going to send 700 we want to keep track of this we're going to send 700 to his address i'm going to send 300 to this address okay so let's uh, go up to our MetaMask, and we've logged in. I've already logged in. Now you want to make sure. See, it's always showing Ethereum. So you want to go down and make sure on your MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using. But you now most of you should be using your MetaMask that you're on USDT. So we click that. In USDT, it always shows your send. So you can see where I've sent other ones. You know, 200, 800, 1,000, right? Bought some more GST, but it shows my income coming in. So we want to make sure we're up to here. So what are we going to do? We're going to do the top one first, 700, right? So I'm going to the receiving address. That's the one I'm going to be sending to. Here's my sending address, and that's me, right? That's my address. So I'm going to copy this one here. I copy it and click on the clipboard, or you can highlight it and drag your mouse and copy it but I'm going to click on the clipboard here it is copy I'm going to go to my MetaMask wallet I'm going to make sure it's back to Ethereum right? I'm going to make sure it's on USDT I'm going to click send I'm going to paste the address in so there's the address and it says I double check OX9 OX9 456E, 456E, yes. It says new address detected. Click here to add to the address book. Now I do this, why? Because a lot of the time you're gonna get a lot of the same people you're gonna be ending up sending your pledges to. So I'm gonna put his in, right? I'm gonna put it in, so I, it's there. P, L, I guess that's an L, correct, I suppose. And what do we got, six, Zero, zero, zero. You, can't, you don't have to do that, but you know, I'm OCD. I'm really particular in what goes on. So I've saved this guy's address, right? Now, 
It's USDT. I double checked. Yes. How much am I sending? 700. So I'm going to go here. People go, okay, done. No, 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 no. We haven't sent anything. So I'm going to type in here 700. Okay, 700 USDT. And uh, a buck 57 is not much. You can go to advanced options and change all this, but because we're on a clip, I'm going to do this quickly for you. So, and I say send. And it'll come up sending 700. Yes, there's my gas fee. And confirm. And it's going to go, right? So it's sending 700. And it's pending. And it's going to go. There we go. It's sent, right? That was nice and quick. So now I have to paste. See here? Paste the 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 TXID from the ether scan. So where do I get that? Well, I just sent 700. Here it is here, right? 700 USDT. So I click on it. <coughs> Pardon me. And up here at the top it says details of this transaction, right? It'll show zero. It's just showing the the look at that. See, it was only a dollar four. The uh the gas, right? So the gas went down. So. I go to the details and I go here to view on Etherscan, right? See the second one, the little arrow? I go to the second one, view on Etherscan, and I open that up, and here is the transaction hash. See that? All the way along the top, transaction hash. And it shows what I did. I sent 700 US Tether. I sent it from my address to this address, right? So I'm going to copy this transaction hash. I can scroll along, copy it, but I always just do this. Copy. It's copy, right? Now I'm going to go back to my GSN site. And I'm going to go here. Paste, right, from Etherscan. So I put it there, and I paste it. And it's gone in. It's fine, and it says submit. Okay, yes, submit. And it tells me, please confirm the PS. So I sent from my address. I sent to this address. This is my transaction. And I say, yes, confirm. Good. I'm done. So now I haven't quite got it done yet. See how the ticket's still not lit up? Because I have the other to do. So I go down here and I've got 300, right? We sent 700. Now we're going to send the other 300. So I'm going to the receiving address. So here's the person I'm sending it to. So I'm going to copy this address. So I copy it, right? See, it's copied down there. Copy. I go to my MetaMask. I go back, right? And I make sure it's back to Ether. I'll make sure I'm back onto USDT. And you can tell it's just dropped 800 or 700. And I go send. And I'm going to paste the person I'm sending to, add recipient, right? So I'm going to paste it. And it tells me it's a new address, right? Now I see the user's ID here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put in his ID. Remember, he was Mr. Mercedes AMG, Hyper AMG. Number nine. Number nine, the Beatles. So I'm going to save it because I can see that next time I just click and I've got it, right? Now, how much am I sending this person? 300. Right? I pledged 1,000 USDT 17 days ago. So it's coming up. So I'm going to, it's due. So I'm going to put in 300 USDT, correct? And I'll do this one faster again, right? So we can do it. You can go to advanced option and change it and change your gas, but you know, for a buck 50, I don't care. And away I go. Yes. Send. Yes, confirm, and it's going to go through. Send the USDT. So your your go ahead, stop the video, or wait while I do this. Now, I, as this has been happening, I've been collecting eighty-five dollars per contract. Right, eighty-five dollars has been coming in on the seventeenth day. So eighty-five per contract. I have four contracts a day. I'm doing right so eight eighty-five times four is three hundred and forty dollars a day US 
and it's happening 30 or 31 day, 31 days in October, right? My birthday on the 31st of October. So you know, that's a $10,540 month. That's pretty good, right? And what was my expense? I was, I had pledged a thousand dollars. I didn't have to pay until yesterday, and I got it back today, right? And all my expense was was twenty dollars GST to set this loan up, and my expense of the of the gas, which was a buck forty seven. So look, it went through. See here, sent. It's gone through. It came up. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to get the hash, right? It says I got to paste the, this in. So I. Go here, make sure it's the 300. I go up, I open it up, I make sure I'm the right one. I go, well, hey, I've got a couple of them open here. I could be on the wrong one. So look, here's a really simple test. Close them all off, right? Close them all off. Go back to your wallet and do it again. You always want to make sure. Go to the USDT, check 300, yes. 300 here, okay, I'll check it. I'm going to view on the ether scan. It comes up. Here it is here. I say yes. I'll copy that. See, that's a 300. I double check. I'm going to copy that. Yes. And I'm going to go to my GSN site. I'm going to go to the middle. I'm going to paste it. So I've pasted it in. And I say submit. Yes. And I say I'm sending. Yes. You have sent USDT. And I'm going to confirm it. And I'm done. Now that's great, right? Fantastic. This one will be there. See the other one's cleared. This one will go. It'll be fine. So I've got that. Very good. So now I've done that. So guess what? I want to get my 1,085, right? See here? I've got 8.5% for one day outlaying my thousand dollars. That was pretty good. I pledged it 17 days ago, but I pretty only spent it one day, right? Yesterday I spent it, got it back today. So I want to get my 85,085. So now that I've done this, I've done both of them, right? I'm going to go to get sponsorship. And I click it. And I've got 1,300 available GS. GDP 830 here, right? That's available to come to me, right? At the moment. There's a little more to come yet, but that other one hadn't gone through. So I can say I'll get my 800. I can type in 800 here, right? They say to use full. They say use full hundreds, right? Don't do 830 or 820. I can do the 800 and I can say I agree and get sponsorship or what I can do is I can wait till this one's gone through and I'll get the extra 300 and it'll be up to 1100 right so but let's go ahead and do this I'm going to say just to show you how you do it right you say get sponsorship and maxi maximum is 1300 what's available at the moment is 830 right so I could click, if I want, I can click max, right? 830, but they say try and do it in 100 increments. It makes it easier. They do it in batches. So I say, okay, I'll do that. So I click that and I say, yes, get sponsorship. And I'm done. I've got my sponsorship, right? Now we can see I have a ticket, right? GS 800. Perfect, right? Great. Now, what can I do here? I'm just going to collect on my loan tomorrow, right? I'm going to collect back. So that means in 16, 17 days, unless I start this whole contract up again, I won't have any more money coming in on this account, 003. So now that I've got I've applied to get my money back tomorrow, I'm going to say, yes, I want to provide sponsorship, right? I want to provide. So I say, okay, I'll provide. I'm going to pledge another loan, right? I pledged my loan yesterday. The payment came in, so I'm paying it today. I just said get sponsorship in a minute. The other 300 will show up there, and I'll be able to apply for it. So I say, yes, I'm going to provide a loan again. I'm going to put one out there, and in 16, 17 days' time, it's going to say to me, I owe what I pledged. I'm going to pay it, just like I did today. The next day I get it back. So I say, yes, I'm going to provide sponsor. 
I always double check and do the thousand. Yes, I want to do the thousand. And I agree to the terms and conditions. I have $43 in GST. It's going to be 20 GST, right? Tax on this loan. So I go, I got plenty there. And I do that. Boom. I am ready to go. Now you can see here, right? I've got a ticket. I have bought a ticket. I've said I'm pledging $1,000 on the 5th of October. So in uh, uh, 16, 17 days time, you know, towards the middle, last week, October, it's gonna come due. And I have to make a payment. And I've got $800 coming back in and I can collect the rest of it if I want to, to go back and get it. So there, I have done that. Now we can go and look and we can say, you can see, if I go to my accounts, right, I've earned here, I've earned here, I've earned here, and I've got all these ones coming due. This is tomorrow. One, two, three, four. Then the next day, one, two, three, four. They'll all be showing up at $80, $85, again, again, again. So look, I have a whole lot of them, <coughs> pardon me, out there. And what's happening is, it's starting to pay off. Right? Very quickly to me, it's starting to pay off. There is great paydays with this program. What a phenomenal thing for people that don't want to have to go out there and recruit or aren't great at recruiting, but have a little cash and want to put it to work for yourself, right? I always say, make your money, make even more money, right? Make, let's go back to this one. Here we go, I should be back here, here I am, right? Make your money, make even more money, make your Bitcoin, make even more Bitcoin, right? Make your crypto, make even more crypto. It's all about going back to work, right? Going to work for yourself, here we go, let's go back to our main screen. Surfing Life with Malcolm. And uh, it's about putting your efforts to work. And we have an effort of whatever your core business is. I have a great core business. And it pays me, you know, in the thousands each week. That's a, it's a health-related business. And then I have another business. And it's a good crypto business. And it pays me some money. And I have this one as well, and this one's passive. I could go recruit. It's a good one to be recruiting with if you want to. I haven't yet. I oh, know I have. I have a friend of mine, Dave. But I'm making money. I'm taking some of my income, just a little bit, and uh, 10, 20% of it each each month. I add it to this, and I put out more loans, and away I go. And I'm generating a nice 8.5% return every 16 days. So, you know, but it's really only overnight because that's when I'm on the hook for the thousand. Great, it's fantastic. We're under 20 minutes. You got it all. Good. See you guys on the next instructional clip. Bye now.